For decades, this Carthage landmark at Paddock and Vine has pointed to Motor Time Auto Sales, formerly Cherokee Motors. It even had its own jingle mentioning the big Indian sign. Beep, beep, beep. There have been attempts to get it removed, but the Ohio Peace Council says now is the time. We're doing this after the Washington Redskins have eliminated their racist name, after the Cleveland Indians have changed, after Chief Wahoo has joined the trash bin of racist history. So the mood, I think, is correct now. Lang's petition has a little under a thousand signatures. He plans to present it to city council, hoping it will back him and review the sign's height limitation. As long as this racist edifice exists, they will never be a model. We will never be a model for uh, cities nationwide. We must remove it, if for no other reason than for that goal. Motor Time Auto Sales has no comment on the petition saying this about the sign. Over the years, it has become a landmark, a sign that brings color and happiness to the valley. Anthropology professor Kenneth Barnett Tankersley says he signed the petition on behalf of his ancestors. It's an example of cultural appropriation, but what's worse than that is it presents a stereotype about indigenous people. Lang says its face, clothing, and bow-legged stance are a caricature of indigenous Americans. People have grown numb to the outrageous racism that it uh, represents. They think that, well, it's just part of the community. In Carthage, Paige Barnes, Local 12 News. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.